Hey guys, welcome back to Doobies to Dollars Podcast. It's your girl Kaylee. Got my co-host Illy in the building. What's poppin'? And we back with Taz the Realist and Brenda. What's up? How y'all doing today? You just hop off the plane, huh? Yes, ma'am, I did. <laughs> just we got out and I was like, man, we're gonna pull up on you, man. Why not? Yeah, I told you we smoke it. Hell yeah, you know we gotta have a smoke fest, which brings us to our next thing. Today's episode is brought to you by the Earth Power Company. The Earth Power Company is Houston's number one THC and CBD dispensary. They got edibles, smokables, topicals. Go check them out for real. Link in the description. Ooh, so they gave us some fun little products today to try out. We get to try them all out with our guests. They gave us this fruit punch drink, THC drink. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to try it. We got the boys some lemonades down there. THC, we got to get Oh my gosh. So when did y'all first start smoking? Oh shit. I was smoking. <laughs> Middle school, man, just, uh, I had my first blunt, I was a, a junior in high school, right before a basketball game, actually, mm-hmm. and my hot box for the first time and everything. Did I you get high your first time? I was, I was highest. <laughs> I, I should have known to tap out when the people I was with, they smoke, you know, every day. They tapped out. On the second blunt is when I started feeling it, and I'm like, you know what I'm saying? And I had to play basketball again. So, you know, I walk in the locker room, everybody like, oh, I'm like, okay. Did you coach you know? No, 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 no. Okay, no, no. She didn't. But I'm, I'm paranoid because, you know, I'm alive. I smoked in my living room. You know what I'm saying? So I, I'm not knowing. This is my first time. This is my first time. So, yeah, I mean, um, I played in the game. Was a Myself breathing hot, like heavy, I couldn't feel it. So, yeah, I was like, good. I, was, I had caught my so bad that as soon as we got there, I drunk out the sink. Like, that's how bad it was. I ate, like, I had Popeyes and Sunday. Like, I was hungry as hell. Damn. I that was good. 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 That was Hanging out with the wrong crowd, or you know what I'm saying? Maybe smoking a little shit. At first, I thought I was smoking, and I was just like, I'm just smoking. Mm. They was like, nah, you ain't smoking. I'm like, yeah, I am. They was like, you got to hear that shit, and I choked for about 30 minutes. Oh, that, that choking comes, I feel like but that. When you choke, now you know, when you choke, your know, ass will be high. Once you choke, maybe you just sitting there and like, oh, <laughs> So y'all met in high school? No. Oh, we met recently, like, that's about two years ago? About two years? Uh, I love the support of my music and shit like that. You know, I would always, he would always come to my show and stuff like that. And then just recently, we kind of just like, let's go hang out. Mm-hmm. And she was good with me. Yeah, I know. We ride around slow. So what, what did you pick? The Sativa? Pineapple Express? Oh no. <laughs> That's not the one. I picked this one. The indica. Okay, we got that. Donkey. 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 Okay, yeah, that's the indica, so we're about to get us. I think me and Illy, we got the Happy Crasher. Definitely oh, indica. We're about to get super high. <laughs> Let's fuck this shit up. Oh, I don't want to be like. Legit. <laughs> so, Illy, when's the first time you started smoking? Oh, uh, y'all, I ain't even gonna lie. I was one of those people that was like, no, I can't stand smoking. Ew, I would never smoke. And then I've been rolling up every day. <laughs> 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 I was just like, look, I had people climbing me. They was like, you type of bitch. They'd be like, how much you eat me hot? Type shit, like, y'all. Uh, <laughs> So me, I'm kind of the opposite. I'm the only one with a different story. I was totally, I didn't start smoking until I was 25. 
Um, the reason I have been getting offered drugs since probably I was six, seven years old, and I was just a good kid. Like I just always said no to drugs. <laughs> I'm so good for a good student. Smoking, I got some shit. Dang. <laughs> so it took me to get hit by a garbage truck, and none of the medicines were working. And then someone just recommended it, and I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. Let me try it. Let's see. And I ain't gonna lie, I've been on it, I ain't stopped since. Not your roots. But yeah, so I love it. And then, oh, ooh, did it grow? Yeah. Just leave it there, we'll get it in a second. Yeah, be careful. But yeah, so I met my friends over at Urban Flower maybe like two, two and a half years ago, and they've had this location for the past year and five months. I'm hoping I'm getting that correct. And uh, their products, I fuck with them heavy. Yeah, this, they have this. And I live here all my life. I'm just not going to be there. You've never heard of them? I've never heard of them, but I'm like, screw it up. I'm going to be here all the time. I'm going to be here all the time. Hell yeah. They got all kinds of cool products here. They got stuff for your dogs. Um, it really helps because animals have anxiety as well. And a lot of people don't know that, but it really does help. So they have the little doggy treats. They have coffee. These drinks, that, open y'all's drinks. Let me know what y'all think. Oh my God, this is just so scary to me, right? Oh my God, let me tell y'all, let me tell y'all a story. So I was with my cousin. This is my first time smoking down here. Mm -hmm. With my family type shit. And my cousin, we had like some like three months back, back, back. And then she passed me another one. And I was like, are you high as hell? I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna die. And then her girlfriend was like, huh, here's a like edible. And it was like 500 mg, I think, I don't know. <laughs> okay, you, okay, here's the thing. You cannot eat it all. I did. I told That's her, the thing. Oh, I was fucked, y'all. I was seeing visions and shit. So I would say when you first start, okay, what's this? This is 50. You can drink one of these and you'll be good. When you're first starting with edibles and like infused things, I would say 50 is good. Work your way up to 100 and that's probably like, okay. Anything past that for a newbie, I would not recommend because that's when they get to passing out and building like that for the doctor and just don't know how to handle it. <laughs> But <coughs> I can never tell if it's the edible or if it's the weed because I'm always she the edible and smoking at the same time. I don't know which one. You don't wait? Okay, so the edibles don't kick in until like 45 minutes later. I didn't smoke two or three blunts about this. And then you're going to get super fucking lit. I'm so mad. I had two edibles in the back of the yesterday. It went to a dead skin room. Yeah. Okay. I didn't smoke. How is that? I didn't know. Me and my friends are not escaping, but. Dang. Yeah. Dang. Yeah. 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 And y'all were smoking. No, she don't smoke. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Was she able to get y'all out of there? No, we ran out of time. Oh, Lord. So, how does that work exactly? Uh, we went into the. What's it called? Corona one. So, we were like, as soon as we walked in the room, we were infected. We got an hour to find the cure. Oh, that's pretty cool. It's, it's in between these two rooms. We got to find these cures and all this. It's, yeah. Clues and shit, it's pretty dope. But I would not recommend going back. <laughs> okay, I'll keep a mental note of that. <laughs> so, what's y'all the wildest story like when y'all was super late? You have any crazy things you did while you were high? I don't know. You don't get lit up, I mean, you get lit up like literally. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think I have nothing to get at. Ah, yeah, I have one. It's not crazy. <laughs> but I have one where I smoked. I was like, yeah, I got real paranoid, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know what it was, I was sweating, I was like, damn, like, okay, I'm in my dorm room, I'm like, 
let me go lay in the bathroom floor because it's like cold I'm like, all right, nah, it's not working. So I get back in the bed and I'm like, I don't want to let my roommate know that I'm tripping, but it's getting to that point, like, I'm going to have to call the cops on my own side. But I'm like, nah, I'm not calling the cops. And I was like, yo, uh, I'm high as fuck, like, I'm tripping, I don't know what's going on with me, but don't call the cops. Just, just let me trip out. And if something happened, don't tell my parents. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so since y'all smoke from your old, have your parents ever caught you on? Uh, <coughs> I've never been caught in the act of smoking, but I didn't smoke and then came back in and they smoked on mm -hmm. me. Not, not underage, like, never underage, <laughs> but I didn't come back in the room. My dad says, I didn't smoke in my dad's garage, but mm -hmm. he came back. I done been smoking and then um, I was drinking some oil and I fell asleep. Damn. And yeah. What about you? What, is it a crazy story? I think I got one uh, in the heart attack. Okay. My uncle came to visit me, gets me in the news and then the person that I was talking to at the time when we walked in the apartment. So he came, he brought some weed, I had some weed, he was going to match you with but he had this, he was like, I got this on uh, rolled up or uh, whatever. My little, my little dip gave me some, some of the high cooks and stuff like that. I started smoking and shit, and I started feeling funny, like, you know, so I ain't never had that feeling before. And so I'm looking at the person I used to talk to, and they looking like getting paranoid because it starts raining and stuff like that. He starts getting paranoid. I'm like, you know, we got to move around, we got to make this. So it's a it's gonna flip or whatever. He flips out like I've never seen my uncle like in that state. He was like, we still die? You mean we still die? He couldn't put his shoes on. <laughs> I was like, but I, she started freaking out. So it was like, if both of them freak out and I freak out, we all did. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, fuck. Like, I'm trying to calm him down and I'm like, just look. He was like, man, he started, he started grabbing pots. To go into it. I'm like, why are you doing that? I'm like, bro, you can chill. I'm like, chill the room till we finally get into his room. Um, we finally get into his red house. Mind you, we drive around his red and stuff. We ended up having to go somewhere else. Come to find out, she had gave him a, uh, um, it wasn't real weed. It was the synthetic shit. Oh. Uh, yeah, yeah, I don't know. I don't either. And I was like, I told him, I said, throw that shit away, because he still had I said, throw that shit away, don't you ever smoke that shit, you need to go through her ass. <laughs> he even put me in this type of position. <laughs> I didn't smoke cigarettes in over 10 years, I smoked three cigarettes in a day. They had this shit. We gotta go, with the water's rising. But at the same time, I'm glad we did leave because I lost everything. You know? And then the apartment's called the car. Damn, in the water? So I was like, damn, that could have been me. Yeah. High as hell. Well, on the lighter note, I have a question for everybody. Is sex better while you're lit and high? Or no? When you yeah. drunk, yeah. yeah. When you high, what's that? I don't know how, but it's a different, it's a different high sex and it's different when you have drug sex. When you have drug sex, you don't care what's happening. Oh, no, 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 When you have high, sometimes you just like, you know, have that more sensual, I don't know, like, intimate, intimate more. type. You know, y'all high, y'all ready to move slow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a kid. 
yeah, girl, yes. I be talking about my perverts. They're the biggest motivation for my podcast. I will never stop talking to them. Like, I love my little sissies. <laughs> but you know what? Honestly, like, it'll help me not to say I don't really be fake when I'm squirting for them, but it helps me get into like a more mental mode because it's like you're on screen with this person, you're not physically with them, but you're still doing sexual acts with them and I have to be looking at their little ass penis. <laughs> 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 Like my <laughs> so you really like <laughs> Yes. You think I'm lying? I'm gonna show you on my phone when I get on screen. I'm gonna show you. Oh gosh, you're not lying. I'm gonna get blood. Y'all are gonna look at these one and a half inch sticks. <laughs> and that's hard. They be so weird. I'm like, they be like <laughs> I think my glasses just broke. So is it just recreational, or a stoner, yeah. or just like you just smoke? Yeah, I smoke because I only really function. My mom only talks to me if I smoke for me. Yeah. I mean, I work better if I don't. I'm gonna be. I'm not gonna be irritated, but it's like I don't know. I, I can go for like a couple of hours without smoking or whatever, but it's like I gotta be something. Yeah, I gotta be. I can't yeah. just be sitting here doing nothing. Smoke. And what you what you gonna do when you finish this boy? Smoke. Yeah. I mean, yeah. When you wake up, you smoke. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, I can't um, I mean, it's not even that I can't eat, I just rather not. Oh, I can't. I can't. I get full of two bites. Yes, and I'm like, oh, this is this not good. Yeah, I want more of this same food. Yeah. Oh no! Oh no! That shit looks so different when you have. I don't like getting high when I eat because I order too much. Ooh, yes. No, because you take it home and get high and eat the rest. Oh, I put my money in there. That's what I do. You're getting the same thing. When you get home, you go out to eat. You go home, you get high. Like that, my mom will really, and I don't want to cook shit. <laughs> Are y'all lit? This urban, the urban flower company is green. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Shout out to the urban flower company because I don't know how the lemonade tastes, but this fruit punch is. <laughs> you know that some lemonades make it more thirsty. Mm -hmm. It quenches your thirst. Hey, shout out to them. <laughs> Yo, okay. I am. She needs you. I said that. Mina was just talking about that earlier. You're the good one. Get lit. <laughs> oh, God. I'm going to say, I was like, Hi, come introduce yourself. This is Tyra. She's part of the Dewey Sedalis team, mostly behind the scenes. Like she Wait, I like the camera. She been looking like she wanna smoke, so it's like bring your ass over here. Come on. This is the longest I've been sober in the morning. Dang. You didn't smoke before you came. Mm -hmm. Don't be me neither. I didn't have time. Yeah, I woke up with a bear or some chill. Yeah, we're about to get And then we came into it. Like how my day goes is sometimes I wake up and smoke and then I go to her house and smoke again. Or my first time smoking is when I get with you. Oh yeah, cause we, but we smoke like it's a. I would say no more than two hours passes. Yeah, I gotta be doing something. My limit, my okay. And now don't get me wrong. So there are those podcast days where it's just like back to back to back, and I just don't have time because they don't let us um, smoke at, at the studio. Um, so I can I can wait, and like I won't have an attitude or anything. But it's like, damn, come on. As soon as it's over, I'm ready to just the person. But I can work and I don't I can work and like not have an attitude or anything. Yeah. 
It's just if I'm in my personal leisure time, it's like I'm gonna be all fucked up, like, you know, going to smoke. I think once you just allow your body to get in that habit of smoking, when you don't, everything else falls apart. Because I know I'm a complete bitch if I'm so I, 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 I feel like I get irritated. Like, I can drop a pencil. I like, no patience. Yeah. <laughs> you can drop a pencil and that's just it. I'm yeah. ready to go. Oh, did you drop that pencil for me? You know what? <laughs> <laughs> I know I got this one. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Let me go. I'm going to go down. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was me this morning. <laughs> that was me this morning. I want to go down my street at about 4 a.m. Like, damn, I left my plant on the table. I went inside. Cat. I ate the damn plant and I was like, fuck. Damn. It's like, I was like, no way, bro. Boy, I could. I don't know if it's going to be out. I don't know. I can't be acting crazy anymore. It's too late. Your animals still love you. You're smoking around them. They didn't have them. Oh, I don't know. I can't probably be lit because she be tearing that shit. Oh, boy. I put a plate down for two seconds. That shit gone. <laughs> Thank you. 
Italy, we gotta win, we gotta have one for the team. Italy, Italy, Italy. Thank you so much to the Urban Flower Company. Y'all yeah, lit.